this is actual first drive on the street. Um, I went and I got my hood thing situated last night. I'm just, uh, you know, cruising, trying to just make a block, go around to my boy's shop. Um, I'm actually stopping and get some corn real quick, too. Just uh, a little. Mm -hmm. Damn third gear, you heard that shit? I gotta rebuild this transmission, this ain't no joke. But anyways, yeah. So, I mean, it feels good. Um, you know, just going, actually, I'm getting into the higher. I can get the torque down low. Of course, when it gets to the uh, boost, uh, you know, I still got to do that right now. I'm just trying to work on my cruise map, um, you know, real life situation driving. It's, the, it's as best as it gets. This is why I like street tuning, you know, better. It puts you in different scenarios. Like right now, I don't know how fast I'm doing, but, uh, you know, never can tell. So let me go in get some gas and then uh, we'll see what happens after. Alright, so yeah, in a fresh tank it says uh, some E85 what is it? 225 a gallon. So, yeah, this is a Sonico. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Let me see if I can top her up. I went and actually got like five gallons um, before because I ran out of gas. Alright. So now she shut off. I had to get back in there and see I'm doing some auto tune so it's really not wise to do auto tune on the idle but you know uh, that's no big deal so we'll go ahead and turn this off save it to the ECU come back and start it now I see how this area is like all my idle so what I'm actually going to do is just block this off. So if you highlight, you right click, and then you say, hold on, where is it at? Oh, lock selected sales. Whenever it's in here, it will not, um, what do you call it, mess with the, uh, the tune. So anyhow, I will do that manually. All right. All right. So the good thing is um, I went to my brother-in-law's house and ended up uh, timing the motor and um, I didn't have to play with the trigger offset wizard. Um, I went and set the timing to 20 degrees fixed. The timing gun was hitting 20 degrees on the uh, crank pulley and I'm good to go so now I feel good about that. Um, the car, man, it's just drivability is great. I, you know, I'm really, uh, really surprised with these 2200cc injectors um, that they're running pretty, uh, it's pretty smooth. Um, and then even at one point when I was, uh, I had a little straightaway, I got on it a little bit and then the turbo started spooling. Oh my God, that thing sounded so good. Really sounded good. I was just like, oh man, this is awesome. So, um, now I'm, um, finishing up, you know, like just getting the, uh, what do you call it? The tune all done. Like basically, uh, let's see if we can, uh, switch this around, I guess. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting this tune like where all my normal valleys are. So wherever it kind of deviates high, if I got like a high pocket of like, you know, 50 or something, I'll interpolate that down. Um, besides that, man, it's uh, it's working out good. I'm just, you know, driving. Oh, there goes a the horse ranch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just driving on this back road because my father-in-law pointed out. He's like, oh, you need to renew your tag. I'm like... No, I don't. I renewed that shit for two years. But um, I forgot to put the sticker on. So now I'm just taking the back roads home so I can uh, not get pulled over. And um, you know, right, even though if they pull me over, they're going to you know see that it's registered. But then they're going to look for my insurance. And right now I haven't put it on because I hate paying for insurance for a car that's not moving. So... That's what's up. But besides that, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a little bumpy road. It's it's coming along good. Um, you know, once I get all this squared away, then I can start doing some pulls and you know 
seeing everything. The only thing I need to double check my knock settings on the uh, knock light, make sure it's registering. So in case if I'm driving, I see that shit, I back off. But uh, all right, so I will talk with you guys later. I just want you guys to hear this exhaust. Let's see. Starting to suck up. Oh damn! Yo, guys, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. But I need to wait. I need to wait. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God! That third gear sounded so beautiful. Oh, but I need to double check my blow-up valve too. But let's see if we can do this again, just to, just for kicks. See, it's already building boost and it got all rich. Uh, all right, let me uh, let me stop this. All right, Lee. All right, so this is how um, the hood sitting uh, with the hood pins, you know, went. Some cheapo things, but um, you know, got them to sit pretty good. Um, the hood stays locked and latch, but of course I don't trust those. So I think what I'm going to do is on the other side is do like a lanyard. Um, so if it, those do let go when I'm doing like 140 or whatnot, um, it will, I'll tie it to, you know, like the front brace and that. So then the hood will just, and it'll help, uh, not come up and bust my shit. So that's what's up i mean yeah it's kind of ricer but you see the clearance that i'm dealing with there i mean if worse comes to worse if i could always cut along this line cut there raise that up weld in a wedge and then you know sit this guy down but um nah i don't feel like doing that right now i'm gonna do this and the only thing i gotta do is is um brace this back um, you know, with the uh, front subframe, I mean, um, front brace, radiator core. But uh, yeah, she's um, she's coming along. And then uh, this is my preliminary testing, as you can see. So I went and I bought a little cheap uh, Android tablet, um, seven inch. It's you know, it sits there, it doesn't move, and um, I didn't hook it up because I had that hooked up. And, you know, uh, basically accessing the two, I don't want it to interfere, so I had that off. But basically, Shadow Dash will be on there. That's going to replace this boost gauge, and that's going to replace, um, well, that was my oil pressure. Even though I could put an oil pressure and have one there. But that's going to have coolant, RPMs, um, and then even, which I got to test out, is Speedo. Um, it should use the GPS of... Um, this it might not be accurate but at least you know it could work now the only thing that i don't have is a fuel sending unit so um what i might do with that is replace this with a um a fuel send you know basically what my tank is uh full or empty um and then or even you know get rid of that and put it up here or something along those lines so it's uh it's coming together and that's what's up transmission is still acting a little funny um it's not tripping as much but i still need to rebuild it but um you know it just whenever the issue happens it has to do something probably you know like with the input shaft um or the main shaft and you know something else because even in neutral when i pressed it in it started making noise and then when i let go um you know it goes away or if i try to put it in gear makes the noise even though they have the clutch out then i got to push the clutch again real quick to like reset it um you know but shit it's a free transmission um so i just need to rebuild it but no big deal now i feel like going to the store and buying me some damn uh 
what's that shit called? Um, beer. But yeah, so then that was the old guy that I took out. But yeah, it should it should be you know fairly good, as long as I get to drive her, I'm happy. So 